Hello all, welcome to the second introductory Synergy training. If you haven't seen the first part yet, it's available as Ingram Micro SDAS presents an introduction to HPE Synergy at youtube.com slash at symbol Ingram Micro SDAS. In that first session, we look at the features of the Synergy 12,000 frame and the storage and compute module options for the chassis. In this presentation, I'm going to go over the cabling for the various Synergy components, which can be somewhat confusing. I'll warn you now that the slides are fairly dense with information, but the point of these slides is, allow you, is to allow you to view a recording this training at a later time and get all the information you need about a particular cabling for whatever particular component you happen to need it for, all on a single slide. So to start, we're going to look at the Virtual Connect SE100 gigabit F32 modules and their associated satellites. First, we'll need some 300 gigabit AOC cables for connecting the Virtual Connects to the ILM satellite modules. Four cables for two frames, eight cables for three frames, six cables for four frames, or eight cables for five frames. In this example, two and three frame configurations are connected by a 50 gig link, while four and five frame configurations are connected by a 25 gig link. Secondly, we'll add two QSFP28 DACs for stacking the virtual connects together. And then finally, we'll add the appropriate number of 50 gig interconnect link modules, two for two frames, eight for three frames, six for four frames, and eight for five frames. For the frame link modules, which link together all the Synergy frames up to a max of 21 for your management network, there's two options. One's based on the older two port FLM modules, and there's one based on the newer four port FLM modules. For connecting frames with the two port FLMs, you'll need a number of RJ45 cables equal to your number of chassis plus two for connection to the management network. Note that none of these FLM cabling rules take into account the image streamer device if you are using it. We'll address the image streamer separately in a later slide. For connecting frames with the four port FLMs, you need number of SFP plus to SFP plus DAC cables equal to your number of chassis. If your management network is 10 gig SFP plus based, add two more DAC cables. If your management network is RJ45 based, add two RJ45 cables and two 10 gig T SFP plus transceivers. In a mixed environment of two port and four port FLMs, use an assortment of RJ45 cables, DAC cables, and 10 gig base T SFP plus transceivers as appropriate, and as detailed on the previous two slides. In any frames you're using an image streamer, you must use the older two port FLMs. In addition to the other cabling needed for your FLMs, add two more RG45 cables to each frame with an image streamer. In addition, depending on the virtual connect module being used, you will need to add either a SFP plus transceiver for the 100 gig VC or a QSFP plus transceiver for the 40 gig VC for each of the two RG45 cables added in the previous step. To attach keyboard monitor and mouse to the front of the frame, you can connect to the display port and USB port in the front or directly connect an ethernet based notebook to the front. To attach a keyboard monitor and mouse to the back of the frame, you can connect to the display port and USB port on the two port FLM module or directly connect to the USB port on the four port FLM module with the addition of a display link USB adapter. For connection to external networks, the slide compiles all the different things that you might want to account for cables for. Add cables is appropriate for the number of devices or ports you want to connect to. When attaching a D3940 storage node to a Synergy 12,000 frame, make sure to add an appropriate smart array controller into mezzanine bays one or four on each Gen 9 or later server you want to connect to the D3940. Two 12 gig SAS modules in interconnect bays one and four. 
and one redundant SAS I.O. adapter per D3940 for redundancy. This diagram shows the internal cabling of a Synergy 12,000 frame and details the connections between the mezzanine slots in each bay or on each compute node and the external interconnect bays on the back of the frame. Two port adapters and mezzanine slots typically route port one to an ICM in bays one through three, while port two typically routes to something in ICM bays four through six for the sake of redundancy. Finally, for reference, here's a link to the HPE Synergy cabling guide. If you'd like more detail on the cabling for any of the products covered here, please check out the site. So that brings me to the end of today's presentation. I hope that the content was useful and helps me get easier for you to install and configure Synergy frames. Thanks for your time today.